Greetings Special Centurions and welcome fellow YouTubers back to Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Your eyes do not deceive you, I am right back at the start by the sewer entrance. I have in fact decided that I need to restart. Bear with me while I explain as it's kind of complicated, it's difficult to explain, but if you consider the skills that we picked for this class starting, uh, what I realized was happening is I was being soft locked out of a lot of quests because I didn't have the combat prowess to deal with the enemies that I was facing. A lot of the enemies were killing me through my block because my block was just so low and it was taking too long to level up that I wasn't actually able to level up any of my major skills. I'm not able to use alteration or illusion or mysticism or conjuration because they're getting so high and my level was getting so high that the enemy's levels were getting so high that my block was too and my armor was too low to sustain attacks from and they were just killing me like with one hit through my block. So I realized that the build that we chosen wasn't going to work for hard. It works for normal. It's fine for what we do. In normal, you can just power level all of these skills and stats, get to your max level really quickly, and then you're really powerful. But in on ridiculously hard mode, that doesn't seem to work. They seem to be able to just destroy you uh, if you don't have the right build. So I've decided to restart, guys. I was about two or three episodes ahead of the episode I, sh I uploaded uh, previously, yesterday, I think it was I uploaded, it was the episode in Skingrad. I'd got about two or three episodes ahead of that and I realized that the build we'd chosen just wasn't going to work. So I've decided to restart, come back to the beginning and reset my class. So we'll still be a special one. We're going to go with combat instead of stealth. I don't know why I chose stealth. None of the stealth um, skills going up fast really matter. Like none of this matters. Speechcraft, useless. Merchantile, useless. Light armor, useless when we're going to be heavy armor. Acrobatics, not that useless, but not that useful either. Once, you're, once you've got a high enough level in acrobatics that you can jump and collect the Welkin Stones, acrobatics really doesn't mean much for you, so it doesn't matter leveling these up that quickly. Marksman, kind of useful, but at the same time, it's useful for sneaking. But at the same time, if your destruction magic is high enough, then you just end up using destruction magic instead of archery. So not that useful to level up quickly. And then finally, security doesn't need to be leveled up that quickly. You're quite If you're skilled in the security mini game, you don't actually need a high level in security to be able to get into very hard locks that difficult, that, you know, that challengingly. And on top of that, you can buy like 100 lock picks from your fence in Bruma right from the start, from very early on. When you've got 100 lock picks, you can just chew, chew through lock picks like crazy. And it doesn't matter that it takes a long time for your security to get up. So the only one that's vaguely useful here in getting up quickly is sneak. But I can just choose that as a major skill. And that will start at level 25. And that will be enough for me to then sneak around most of the missions early game. And the sneak will just increase from there. And once we have invisibility as well, once our illusion is high enough, we can just cast invisibility and sneak doesn't really matter from that point forward. So I don't know why I chose stealth. We're definitely going to choose combat because they get plus 10 in their specializations and their skills increase faster. And we want all these skills to increase as quickly as possible. We want athletics to go up as quickly as possible. We want blade, block, heavy armor and armorer to go up as quickly as possible. And then it's useful to be able to level up blunt and hand to hand as like a secondary skill um, if you need to change weapons or whatever. So we're going to choose combat. We're going to choose endurance. I think I chose speed last time. I don't think it's that important to get speed. You're actually quite quick in this. Like even at the slowest, you're pretty, you can pretty much outrun most enemies and then just jump onto a rock. So I don't know. I don't think we need to upgrade speed as much as I did in the other one. Or maybe we'll find out maybe that the reason why I was able to outrun enemies is because I pumped so much into speed. But who knows? We're definitely going endurance because that determines how much health you get every time you level up. And then I think we go strength afterwards because that will determine our damage. And then for the seven major skills, we're going to pick skills that we want to be able to level up, but not... Um, I don't know how to explain it. We want athletics because that goes up pretty quickly. No, well, let's just think here. I say we go for... 
we want skills that we don't want to power level basically so that our level itself stays really low and the enemy's level around us stays really low but then we power level all the other skills like magic to get really powerful spells and utilize them on the weaker enemies so i think what we want is athletics blade block Heavy armor, that's one, two, three, four. Sneak is five. Blunt is six. And probably hand to hand is seven. Because we want to power level acrobatics, we want to power level alteration, we want to power level armorer. Uh, we want to power level conjuration and destruction. Hand to hand, that will be seven. We want to power level illusion. Light armor, we don't care about because we're going to be using heavy armor. Marksman. Mm, Marksman is difficult because we, we want to be able to level it at some point. But it's going to take ages to level and it's going to start quite low. Uh, I'm just wondering if we choose marksman instead of hand to hand. Yeah, I think we'll take Marksman instead of hand-to-hand. -hand. So instead of Athletics, because Athletics goes up quite quickly, actually. I think we want hand-to-hand. -hand. So these are ones which we can control how often we utilize them, basically. So Blade, uh, we won't block in Heavy Armor because then they'll start at level 25. So we'll have enough armor and enough defense to be able to survive the hits we're taking. We want blade so we can actually do enough damage to the enemies. And same for blunt. And then we want a couple of other skills that we can control. A couple of other skills that we then control how frequently we level them up. So hand to hand being one of them, marksman being the other one, sneak being the third. So they don't level up that quickly and they keep us at a nice low level for ages while we power level all the other skills and get really powerful in them. So yeah, I think that's what we do, guys. They level up quickly in themselves because we've chosen the warrior base setting. Um, but, and they start at a nice high level so we can survive hits. But we don't utilize them that often and that keeps our level nice and low. Yeah, I think that's what we go for. I'm just wondering if we choose instead of blunt something else. There's no point having blade and blunt and hand to hand you know what i mean just thinking if there's something we could have instead of blunt athletics goes up really quickly because you're running around the map everywhere armorer goes up really quickly because you just repair everything that you find alteration no we want a power level alchemy it would level up too slow i think we go for blunt yeah we can just swatch out we can just switch out basically when we want to level blunt up we'll just switch to a blunt weapon and then attack with the blunt weapon instead of the blade if we don't want our blade getting too high if we want to keep our level nice and low i think that's the, that's what we go for guys special one okay Yes, and now if we look at our stats, 45 strength, 50 intelligence, 50 willpower, 50, 30 agility, 30 speed, 35 endurance. Oh, I thought our endurance would be higher than that. Oh well. And then everything is still really low. And then we can power level all of this stuff without worrying about it affecting our overall level. So yeah, I think that's how we do it, chat. I'm just going to save it here again. Uh, and let's go. Wish me luck. Second attempt. Second attempt. Yeah, good luck, says the game. Thank you. I'm going to need it.
Oh, there was some stuff down here, wasn't there? Some clams. Oh, I don't need the torch anymore either. That can go. Um, just need to remember where we were back at the start. So I need to go to the town and sell all this stuff. Now, I was leveling Restoration my other playthrough. I think instead of leveling Restoration... Oh, I don't have any spells yet. Okay, I need to learn some spells. Oh, wait. Are all our levels... Are all our spells... Are we not going to be able to level these spells because we don't have high enough level in them? Huh, I wonder. You might have to get training before you can get a high enough level in... Um, Yeah, before we can get a high enough level in any of our magic skills to be able to utilize some of the spells. Even the most basic novice ones in order to level them up. So the first thing we need to do is go back to town and sell everything. As we did in the first playthrough. Or the first run. prison just going to come down here because if you come in here there's supplies down here that you can get and again we're looking for a pair of hammers and ingredients in fact we just want to take everything because we're about to go sell everything anything that's worth anything we'll take Didn't mean to take the pickaxe, put that back. So yeah, my other character, the one that we were just playing with in Skingrad, uh, it kind of ended up a bit gimped in a way because he just wasn't powerful enough in the right ways to take on combat. But then he was getting too powerful in his level because I was leveling up Restoration which got to quite a high level, and Armourer, and Conjuration. I ended up being a really high level, and all the enemies we were fighting were really high level, but my block and armor skills were really low. So we couldn't sustain the battle, we couldn't actually fight anyone without just being wrecked every time, which was really unfortunate. So, yeah, we're going to have to go in here, sell everything, and then search all the crates and stuff again. Feel free to browse. Yes. What? Browse. Right, she hates admiration, doesn't like uh, cause she hates top right. Don't that's just what a great don't try to manipulate remarkable. Oh she hates top right. So yeah. Don't that, talk that, so that, that, that's that, yes. Yes. Whatever that, Yes. That, don't that, that's remarkable. That. What don't sorry really? No, that's just remark. No more. Okay. You're frightening me. I think you might. I'm not. I'll skip over the quest that we've already picked up. I. Because you know. May I interest you in some? We've got her a bit high, so we could probably sell at fifty percent at this point. A fine. Yeah. Iron short sword, rusty it. iron bows can all go. just going to sell everything in the inventory because we can always go to the uh, what's it called we can go to the arena and pick up weapons and armor there so we don't need any of these weapons and armor we just want an empty inventory so that we as we run around town stealing stuff uh, you pillaging and looting stuff I should say we've got inventory space for them
That's a good deal. That's it. Excellent bargain. Go to the 24 rat meat. Chameleon can go. Flashbolt can go. Petty soul gem. Bear pelt. I don't know why I'm carrying this bone. That's... You, you've made. That's a fair deal. A fun. Okay. Thank. Thanks for dedicating. Who are you? Fathis Yules. I've got a nice house. I have a little income. Quite comfortable. I understand the Fighters Guild is higher. Right, let's loot everything here quickly. I'm looking for repair hammers, really. Anything we can sell, though. Just to build up a bit of gold, then we can go buy some spells. Uh, well, since I've done this already on the early run, I think I'm going to leave it. I don't want to bore you guys too much. I won't bother with all the ingredients. I'm just looking for a few repair hammers to get us situated on our way. Okay, that'll do. Let's go to the arena, pick up some weapons and armor. Let's come and check these crates. I'll spend time in between episodes looting all the ingredients I can find there and doing alchemy to get our alchemy back up. I won't bore you with it by doing it again on... Ex I won't do the, pl the run, the playthrough exactly the same Hello as we did there. last time. If if yeah, I want to bet on the uh, match. I would bet on the yellow team. 100 gold. Then we go in here. Let's try our luck chat. Welcome, welcome to the arena, good citizens. Of you the came Empire. to watch a fight, and a fight you shall have. It's the blue team versus the yellow team in a battle to the death. Lower the gates. Go on, yellows. Go on, yellows. Go on, yellows. She's kicking ass. She's kicking ass. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, no. Block. Block, woman. Block. Get your block up. Have I changed the difficulty in this? Yeah, it's still on. Good. Still high max difficulty. Why aren't you blocking, woman? Yes! Victory! Give me all the money. Yes, that's what I wanted. Money! Okay, let's come down here. Talk to this guy and join. I don't know who you are. You are no. I'll take the light raiment for now. Get a move. Move on. I'll put it straight back in here while we loot the place. See if there's anything worthwhile in here, like repair hammers or gold. Yep, gold. How many arrows did you put in this? Take them. Uh, wasn't there another stand somewhere with more weapons on it? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's go to you to get the quest for you. Yeah. I lay. Crow. Nice.
take all his arrows. Did I keep the raiment or put it back? I think I put it back, didn't I? I need to read this. Yeah, athletics, good. I put it back. Okay, no worries. Need to go get that again in a second because I always need some kind of armor. Great. Any news? Can I interest you in some of my wares? I'll sell you all these claymores. You are welcome, lady. Right, let's go get our armor, our light raiment back on. time is it 520 so he'll be coming out Thorinir will be coming out any minute should be able to follow him no problem I just need to go in and chat with him first quickly I think it's very nice selection, Thorinir. Well, thank you. It's not only a fine assortment of goods, but a bit of a treasure trove. You never know what I'll have in stock. I can see by the look on your face, you wonder where I get all these fantastic items. I'll tell you what I tell everyone it's all about anyway. Yeah, so he doesn't give you any information. Welcome. Rumors. Arthros is a sneaky one. He, he's the guy you're buying from, isn't he? Goodbye. That was so funny if he's, if he's the guy that you're, sneaking, you're stealing from. Uh, buying from, even. Right. Corrupt Imperial Watchman. Who's that? Hey, stranger. You didn't get Can that you last time. a few coins? I've just been shaken down by that bastard Watchman. The bastard took every coin I had with me. I don't know his name, but I know his face. Ruslan and I were shopping at Jensen's when he accused us of stealing. We turned out our pockets to prove we were innocent, but he didn't care. And we had to pay the fine, or he was going to march us off to jail. Asshole. Now he's shaken down most of the shopkeepers in the market district. They're all too afraid of him to do anything. Jensen wouldn't even talk about it. Okay, we have to do something about him. Someone ought to do something about him. Don't worry, we're on it now. You gotta like a store named Slash and Smash. Uh -huh. Yeah, we do. So? No, don't do that. Okay. What is that? We didn't get this one in the last playthrough. That's weird. Apparently there's a corrupt appearance watchman in the city. Laurent grows in the temple district was complaining about him. Laurent grandfather in Jensen's merchandise. No, I didn't have a name, but maybe Jensen does. Okay. I'll oh, he just came out. Thorinir just came out and went this way. I think. Where is it? No, that was her. Okay, so we need the Temple District. So I think that's where Thorinir goes next. Next 
next one. But we want to head to the waterfront as well because we need to meet Arma and Kristoff and get the Thieves Guild missions going. Plus there's repair hammers on the waterfront that I want. Let's head to the waterfront quickly now. Look around for some learn route, don't see any. start this end work our way along the seafront waterfront even pillaging everything from the barrels then we'll head back to the market district see if we can pick up thorin air because it's coming up to the point where he's going to be leaving and locking up shop where is the learn route around here there it is take that i'll just start the learn route mission i need to take it to an alchemist which i'll do in the market district tomorrow Try and get through these early oh nice no, little hammer. Try and get through these early quests as quickly as possible as I can for you guys, because I know we did them all recently, or we did them all in the, f in the early first run. I don't want you to have wasted your time watching the first six episodes just for me to restart and do all the same missions again. So I'll try and take a different path that I've taken on the first in the first six episodes. Instead of going to Skingrad, we might go down south to Leowin or something. We'll see. Okay, and talking to taking that stuff is stealing, so let's go back. Oh, what do you say to me? I'm Jer. I'm a, a pickpocket. But relax, you're safe from me. You look like. Yeah, yeah, I'm too risky. I'll fucking kick if your head in. There's a complaint about a merchant. Speak to Venisi. I'll fucking kick your head in, you I'm dick. Through talking. Yeah, I'm through talking to you as well. Fucking asshole. Tell me I'm looking for danger, then admit to me that you're a pickpocket. I should break your fingers. Did I search these crates? I don't remember if I did. I don't think I did. No, it's the pair hammer. Nice. Let's just check through these for repair hammers. Just want to build up a nice stock of repair hammers in the early game. That's the uh, that's the objective of searching through all these crates at any rate. Because they're pretty expensive to begin with, and when you've got no money, it's just nice having free repair hammers. Because it's not because you need to level up armorer, start leveling up armorer. Oh wait, let's go in while it's uh, still open. 
I have everything for the b that route. I yeah, thank you. Oh shit, it's locked now. Sorry, I didn't mean to pick that. Where's Jensine then? She's locked it, but she hasn't come out. Oh, there she is. Jensine, I need to talk to you, please. No, wait, no, wait. Oh, it's not a shop, it's an inn. There you are, I need to talk to you, please. Any news about. Who told you that? Rustlin and Laronk, those idiots don't know when to stay quiet. Look, I'm not telling you any Oh, okay, let me tell you a Go joke. Ahead. Oh wait, we need to pay gold to no, we're gonna we'll wait until we've got a charm until we've got a charm spell or she likes us more from inventory we sold her. I don't wanna spend money bribing her at this moment, it's too expensive. There's store in here. What day is it today? Last seed, whatever that means. Uh, what are my skills actually at now? Sneaks at 26, marksman's at 28, heavy armor's at 30, hand to hand's at 30, blunt block and blade roll at 30. Okay, that's pretty decent. We need to get our sneak up though. He's going to the inn. I think he spends all night at that inn. Tonight, I don't think he goes to where he's meant to go because it's like a Sunday or something. What, uh, what time is it? Let's go to the waterfront. We'll meet the gray, uh, not the gray fox, the, the gray foxes. The Thieves Guild members and start the Thieves Guild mission now and we'll do this one another night. What is it? What? What happened there? I fell down the stairs. Sorry guys. Trip down the stairs. You know how it is, too much alcohol. Where does this lead? Imperial City, Talos Plaza, that's where we want to go. Because that again has lots of crates. We've got a couple of hours before our man Christoph appears at the waterfront. Let's use it to loot the crates down here in the Talos. Greetings. Am I back in the market district? Hello. No, I'm not. Here we go. Repair hammer, nice. There's a bear pelt now, I'll take that. Since I've got loads of inventory space. I'm in the wrong place. I'm in the Elven Gardens district. Whatever. Still found a repair hammer. That's what I'm looking for. Greetings to you, good sir.
Nice, got a good few of power hammers there. Now where are we going? We want to go left, we want to go down here. Yep, to the waterfront. We'll just do the first mission of the Thieves Guild quickly to get us en route. Then I'll take the time between the episodes to run around town looting everything properly, as well as all the ingredients I got in the first couple of episodes of the first, um, the first run. Get my alchemy up, uh, sell everything, and then get to a point where we're ready to move out of the city. Uh, and then I will continue the playthrough in the next episode then, guys. So yeah, I do apologize for having to restart, but it, we just... Uh, we got to a point where it was just becoming ridiculous. I was having to hide on rocks and just sit there for 10, 15 minutes blasting down enemies with spells, with fire magic. And it wasn't very conducive to an entertaining episode. It wasn't very interesting. Uh, and I wasn't enjoying the playthrough, to be honest, because I wasn't enjoying how weak we were, how incapable we were of fighting. in the evening. Why is this barrel stealing and locked? Let's find out. No reason. Garlic, I'll take garlic. Good to build up your garlic reserves because uh, when, if we become a vampire, one of the ingredients you need to cure yourself from vampirism is garlic. Just wait here for two hours, he should appear. Yeah. No, but you will do soon. So. Oh, wait, we have to um, look at the poster, don't we? I remember. I remember, I remember. You wanted the grey fox. Now we get the options to really the back. The Thieves Guild, Grey Fox. He's just a name on a. Okay. Say what you're going. Not gonna to like say. me. All right, let's see what you like. Hates boasting. So he hates top silly. left. I won't. Would you? You're a big fat liar. He hates You've top left. That. Don't. I doubt you really mean that. I can't. That. Blah. Was that supposed to be a compliment? He is the king of thieves in Cyrodiil. I join then. Everyone is here. Let Good. The Thieves Guild is not a myth. For some reason he goes to a cutscene here that we can't skip, so they're gonna have to watch this guys and then just carry on. Finding them, you have passed the first test. It's unusual for us to have three potential recruits at the same time. Rather than the normal test of skill, I'm going to make this a contest. A contest. <laughs> Methodel, you know the rules. However, for Amuse and the newcomer. Let me state them clearly. Whoever brings me the diary of Amantius Electris without killing him will be invited into the guild. Ha! I'll have it before sunrise! Somewhere in the Imperial City. The beggars will help you locate it for a price. I can sell you lockpicks if you need them. One more thing. You cannot kill each other during this trial. We may be thieves, but we're not murderers. 
make this my active quest, and then we just run off before. See, look, even without doing speed, whilst wearing this heavy armor, we can st or light armor even whilst wearing armor, we can still keep up with Methrodel, who's literally like the fastest person at the start of the game. As long as you can outrun her, you can outrun most enemies. out of here and we're good you speak Made it. Yeah. Congratulations. You have returned with the diary. You have earned the right to join the Thieves Guild. Hells yeah. You now owe your loyalty to our guildmaster, the Grey Fox. Okay. He has three rules you must follow. Oh, no, I can't count up to three. I can only count First, to two. Never steal from another member of the guild. Okay, that's one. Second. Never kill anyone on the job. Uh, duh, that's two. That's as far as I can count. Can be slain what comes after two? Uh, third. Oh, third comes after two. One, two, third. Got it. Peasants and beggars are under the personal protection of the Grey Fox, particularly here on the waterfront. You need more experience for when you've contributed. Jobs? Look. assassination okay so that gets the thieves guild quest going which is good um how are we doing on time we got a bit longer but i need to sp yeah before we leave the imperial city i need to loot it because i need more money than this it's not a great sum of money so okay whatever dude uh, actually, maybe we don't. How many repair hammers do we have? 11 repair hammers. That's enough to be getting on with. I think the first thing we're going to do is go up to Chaden Hall, join the Fighters Guild, and get all the free weapons that you get that don't cost any weight to carry. Then from there, we'll go down to Leowin and we'll start the Mages Guild. We'll get the Mages Guild recommendation. Oh, no. Then from there, actually, I want to go up to... Once we've got the Fighters Guild, we've got the free equipment. I'll come back down to the Chestnut, sta uh, Chestnut Handy Stables, come across the bridge, and we'll make our way up to Wayne and Priory, drop all our stuff off at Wayne and Priory, or pick up whatever we need from Wayne and Priory, because you get a load of free stuff. Uh, and then we'll go from there, guys. But that's in the next episode. So I'm going to end things there for now, guys. And, uh, well, actually, no, because I'm not going to loot the city. Let's just go now. Let's do it. We've got a little bit longer. Let's go join the Fighters Guild. I'm here. I'm here to join the Fighters Guild, everyone. I can count to third now.
One, two, third. See? I'm really clever. That's why I want to be a fighter, because I'm so smart. Hello, Fighters Guild. I want to join you, please. Who do I talk to to join you, please? I want to join. Do I talk to you to join, please? What do you want? A job? Yeah, I do want a job, please. Let me join. The Fighters Guild, are you? I'm interested in joining. Good, I guess. Yay. I suppose. If you're looking for. Okay, that's the Fighters Guild join. We've got all our weapons now. Let's go to the Mages Guild. Join the Mages Guild. Get all of the stuff there. And then what I'll do is between episodes run around and loot, loot those two for ingredients and get my alchemy skill up. I'm Trayvon. We don't... My family... I admit... Yeah, okay. I don't want your life story. I just want to join the guild. You're nice. I'm Dietzan. Can I join? The guild is a... How do I join the Mages Guild? Farewell. I'm Alan Reed. I want to join the Mages Guild, please. How do I join? Did you want something? Yes, I want to join the Mages sure Guild. I'm not slow. I can count to third. I expect this will end in disaster, but nonetheless, very well. to advance. If you now, yeah, recommendation. Don't waste my time. Hmm. There was a. If I did, you. He wants the Ring of Burden. Yeah. It's. Take care. Good day. Don't tell me. Oh dear, I'd say more, but well, Falkar is. I'll tell you what. Find me when Falk. Okay, yeah. So I have to find her when Falkar's not around. That's if I want to continue the mission. Um, which I do, but I also want to loot everything that isn't nailed down, and increase my alchemy skill. So yeah, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to run around looting this place. I'll run around looting the Fighters Guild, uh, and then I'll pick up the episode when I've looted and sold everything. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out. I hugely appreciate it. I do apologize for the restart, but it, trust me, it was extremely necessary. Some of you might be shaking your heads and saying I knew this uh, from the build that I picked at the start, but say la vie, that's how things are. We tried it with one run. It didn't work. We're going to try it with another run and another build, and hopefully I've got it right this time. But yeah, guys, I'll be back tomorrow morning with another episode of Oblivion. Hopefully I will see you there for that. If not, I'll try and catch you in some other content I produce. I try and make content every single day now. So, so I'll wait till next time.